This is an updated review of the 10 foot regatta from White Duck. Used it a couple times. Uh, last week it was 27, 28 degrees. My buddy and I, we camped just fine. Uh, cooked breakfast with the doors open. Pleasant. Just, I was sitting there without my jacket on. It was completely perfect. Uh, got the one Tigris Tiger Roar stove. That thing is absolutely perfect for this. Uh, I wouldn't go any bigger than that stove. Uh, this tent, they say it's a three person tent, but look, there's one cot in there. I got one little table and some boxes of wood, but you cannot fit two cots in there. You, you can fit two people with the stove sleeping on the ground. Three, I guess in warmer temps without a stove. But to be honest, I'm going to say one person with a cot, gear, it's the perfect little hunting lodge. It's it's rough to fit two people. If you're sleeping on the ground with sleeping pads, no problem. But it's just you cannot fit two cots in there with it with the stove. I mean, if you didn't have the stove, you could do two cots comfortable with gear. It'd be perfect, but other than that, I'd say, I hate to say it, but it's a one-person tent with gear. I'm at, like, hunt camp with, uh, just, I'm going to try to harvest some coyotes, um, get some furs to lay down on that for my ground cover. I got a, a welding blanket because I did burn holes in it already. Uh, the coals popped out of there. You, I would definitely highly suggest getting the, uh, some kind of mat. I got these canopy bright. They're at Walmart. They're little string LED lights. Let me turn them on real fast. Hold on. I don't know if you can see that. I think they're around 15 bucks. They're these little lights for the little pop-up canopy, but if you string them through there, they loop around twice perfectly. It's the perfect setup because I've noticed if you hang the light up at the top, it's really bright at top, but you can't see at the bottom. But these lights, it's 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 perfect. They're, I think it's canopy brights. They're little cheap LED lights. They run off three AA batteries, but... You can see uh, I got the X-Ped Mega Mat 10. That, that's the best damn sleeping pad I've ever had. Uh, totally worth it. And little hack I've seen. Without having to tie this up, if you put a stone or a piece of wood to prop that up, you do not have to tie that off, and you do not have to trip over it all the time. That's that's the number one thing about that. That's the easiest thing. I mean, it makes it so much better when you're coming in and out. That cord will, it trips you up. It's ridiculous, but a little life hack right there. A little brick. Prop it up a little bit and give it, keep it tension. But I would say if, it, if, it, if you're in a rainy condition, I would tie it down because of that flap. You can kind of see up under there that flap would kind of keep the rain off and you'd put that little cap on top of the knob there, but I don't know. That's way better than having it tied down. And you can see I have some of the tie downs just tied off to the tree and stuff because I'm kind of on a hill, but it's just me tonight. And I'm out here for a couple days trying to get some fur, but, uh, things awesome. It's like the, one night, me, my buddy and I, it was 17 degrees. We completely fine in there. Uh, last weekend, it was 26, 27. My friend and I, we both slept on the ground. Perfectly fine. My Actually, I popped a hole in the X-Ped and laid and slept on the ground with the deflated mat, and it, I was still all right. So... I like it. It's, I have yet to test it in the rain. It hasn't rained here in Tennessee, but exceptional tent. I like it. It's 
it's just deceiving on what they say about the the size limit of people, but nobody ever comes without with me, so I'm by myself most of the time, so I'm cool with it, but it's a good tent. Updated review, I'll give it fucking five stars.